Gretzky in the black and silver trunks. The place is electric. Over 6,000 people came from Ireland to see and support their man, Paul McCloskey. It is a packed house. And you're going to see right off the bat, Amir Khan trying to work behind that jab. Show his superior boxing skill and his speed in this particular fight. I tell you, this crowd is just unbelievable. The, the rise of the crowd is phenomenal. McCloskey's got his, his supporters right enough, but I'll tell you what, the majority, as you would expect, will be for the champion, Khan. Khan working the body, trying to get inside right there. And you see right away, McCloskey, the plan for him was to fight outside, to box and try to outbox Amir Khan, but he has never seen anybody with the speed of Amir Khan. Amir possesses that rare speed in a combination of speed and power, and also, he has got a tremendous hunger for greatness, and he prepares himself for greatness. McCloskey can ill afford to have a sloppy defense with Khan. Cannot keep his right hand down like that. Khan will pay him. Once he finds his range, he will pay him. And McCloskey letting him get inside. Amir Khan working behind that jab. McCloskey started this fight very calm, watched him in his corner, not unfazed by Amir Khan. Now Khan does make some mistakes, watch his foot. Again, we talk about the feet of the southpaw against the orthodox fighter. Very important for Khan to keep that foot outside, outside the right foot. McCloskey showing Khan, treating him with contempt, dropping his hands and almost daring Khan to hit him. Luis Pavon right there, separated the two fighters. Khan, who seems to be reaching with that jab. On the other hand, McCloskey with his hands down, and there's the speed of Khan. You blink and you get two, three shots on the part of Khan. On the other hand, McCloskey trying to go ahead and find a chance to land that straight left. Well, Khan's hand speed is most impressive. You know, McCloskey, I don't think, has landed a single punch. He's tried to land two or three, landed a body punch early on in this round. But other than that, hasn't scored a telling blow. And be aware, Khan wants to end this fight as soon as possible. He is not out here to stay for a very long time. If he can take out McCloskey early, he will. Well, Khan needs to make a statement. If he's, you know, he's plans to fight Timothy Bradley if he gets through this fight. So he needs to take this guy out if he can, an impressive style, if he can. And of course, Timothy Bradley would bode very well for him. In fact, that'll be the chance for him to become the first post-war undisputed world champion and the youngest at the age of 24. And there you have the first round is in. If round number two. And the place is absolutely electric as Amir King Khan comes back to England and electrifies his crowd here in Manchester. Amir Khan in the blue trunks taking on Paul McCloskey, the unbeaten southpaw, the European light welterweight champion, and here comes Khan. McCloskey cannot take a step back like that, Duke. Well, McCloskey trying to be cute, trying to make Khan miss, but he forgets Khan's not going to hit him with one, two, three punches. It'll be four, five, and six that land. One impressive thing about McCloskey so far is how calm he came into this ring. Incredibly calm. As I said before, not phased by Khan's reputation. That's gone out the window. But he's not winning this round, and he didn't win the first round. So, you know, 12 rounds goes really quick. Amir Khan with a relentless pursuit to get inside and work behind that jab to use and you look at the build of Khan, it has changed. He's now heavier around the legs, a little bit leaner around the shoulders. Yeah, Khan, much more mature now. He's a man and fighting at the highest level, as you would expect. I just like to see Khan slow himself down marginally, plant his shots just a little bit better, throwing almost too many punches. Bukowski opting for the straight left to the body. It's a good punch from the southpaw, but Khan landing with a crisp one-two. And what speed, the way he landed those first two shots. That's the thing, McCloskey trying to turn the head, but as he turns ahead, three, four punches land upon him. There's that straight left again from McCloskey to the Khan's but it's the only punch he's landed with thus far. And a right hand by McCloskey. 
And there's your response from Khan. Right on the nose goes that punch right there by Khan. Khan really fired up. And this is a dangerous maneuver right here by McCloskey to come in like that, lunging in. McCloskey isn't a puncher. You know, he's had a handful of knockouts or stoppages in his whole career, so, you know, he needed to fight a completely different fight than he's used to fighting, but we're not seeing that so far. 12 knockouts and 22 fights for McCloskey. Luis Pavon gets inside the warning about a punch, a rabbit punch. But McCloskey can ill afford to lose these early rounds. Khan, on the other hand, just coming in now, relentless. No respect for the McCloskey power. Khan trying to get the attention of referee Luis Pavon. They're about to shot to the side of the head. And that is round number two into the books. Khan out of his rhythm. Make it a street fight. This is the third round for the WBA light welterweight champion of the ship of the world, the champion Amir Khan and Blue, the challenger Paul McCloskey. He is the European light welterweight champion. He's wearing the black and the silver. He is the southpaw. So far, the first two rounds we've given to Amir Khan. He has done more. The thing is, Khan is so good at what he does. You know, as I said, the quick, short, sharp punches that he throws. Three, four, five, six, there's five for you. And no response from McCloskey as yet. The best punch of the fight so far from McCloskey has been the right. And it was a grazing right hand, a counter shot, just like he missed right there. Paul McCloskey has never seen anybody this fast. I'm here, Khan. A mountain away from the level of competition that he has seen. Khan adopting for the straight right left hook, which is the trademark punch for the southpaw. John Breen, the trainer for McCluskey, saying he was going to try to box out box Amir Khan. Watch the feet. The feet, they'll be stepping on each other. McCluskey can't deal with the speed right now. The time he's got one punch off, he's been hit with, with, you know, two, three, four punches back in return. And now that time right there, Khan choosing to lead with the right hand. A left that landed right there by McCloskey. Khan telling him, come on, come on. Khan really fired up, just got to slow himself down marginally. Lovely straight right from...